Yeah. Conversations with gospel artists, pastors, our faith is what got us through all the troubles and disasters. Indeed, we fell short, but the Lord never passed us. Our belief in God is the most important factor. It's the Velika B Project. The Velika B Project. The Velika B Project. It's the Velika B Project. your host, Valika B, lover of God, founder and CEO of Set Apart and Chosen. Sit back and relax and enjoy the conversation. Hey fam, it's your girl Valika B, founder and CEO of Set Apart and Chosen. I'm excited to be here with one of my friends, Kalente Gavins. I am going to bring him on really quick so we can go ahead and get this thing popping. Kalente, you ready to come in, sir? <laughs> come on in, honey. <laughs> oh, thank you for having me, man. How you doing? Man, you know, I've been wanting to interview, interview you forever and ever, oh, and I'm finally glad. When I got the email the other day, I'm like, what? Is this going to pitch myself? Is this a dream? <laughs> no, we here. We live and in color. Huh? Well, let me start out by telling you that I have been following you from the lunchroom wow. to today. Like when I yeah. tell you that I'm so proud, proud, proud of you. Wow. I'm really proud. I, I yeah. see that from the outside looking in to me, you never have given up. You yeah. have always push push your message out. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you're in the car, if you're in the lunchroom, a hallway, you're gonna put you're gonna be somebody's witness. And I love, love, love <laughs> that about yes, you. Tell me what make you just really push out the way you do. You go in hard and never giving up. Man, first of all, I thank you for having me again. And y'all excuse the car. I was running. I tried to jump off. <laughs> I tried to get home. I said, no, no, we're not about to be super late today. But we're here. So thank you for having me again. And hey, everybody. Um, Man, how can I answer that question? Man, I love people, V. Like, I love people. Like, I want to aim to be so much like Jesus. And I know some people, you know, are introverted in nature or maybe introverted with extrovert tendencies. If you follow me, you know, I'm a super in extrovert. Some of y'all probably can already feel my energy. Um, and one of the things that I love, which is a fuel for me, is seeing people be blessed by the ministry and gift that God has given me. Like that is that like I, when I'm singing in rooms, whether it's the 5,000, 10,000 or five people, I'm aiming to, yes, point them to Jesus, mm -hmm. but be an encouragement to that one person that may be on their last string and they just want to give up on life. Like, I know for a fact that because I, I, I aim to minister to that one, that the whole, the whole room or the atmosphere or the audience is affected by that, the consequence of us, me, I know for a fact, experiencing the presence of God, man, is me knowing that I'm not just called to be like Jesus, but I'm called to do and move like Jesus. And that's to leave the 99 and get that one. That's good. That's good. I was talking to my pastor in our staff meeting um, the other yeah. day, and I was telling him, I said, sometimes by us, you and myself, we yeah. see a lot in the industry behind the scenes. So how yeah. do you not get discouraged and want to give up for the things that you see? Oh, man. V. <laughs> I wonder what Jesus would like. I, you asking me, but I be thinking about him like, yeah, he fed the 5,000 and walked on water and healed the lepers and the one with the issue of blood touched him. But the Bible says in Matthew 14, V, after he feeds the 5,000, he departs from the crowd to be all by himself. Right. And I think our exposure to a lot, seclusion becomes a ministry to us more than an isolation. Right. Like, like, like despite all that I've seen, it, everything comes with some negative cons, you know? Right. Um, and again, the people that make up this industry or gospel industry are also humans. They're people. They're right. not superheroes. Uh, right. If 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 Superman is Clark Kent and Wonder Woman is uh, what's her name? Something Prince, something like that. I don't forget. <laughs> and Batman is Bruce. Yeah. Then surely we got to know that our Christ was fully man and fully God. 
And for me, I ain't gonna lie, V, I'm trying not to quote so much Bible, but I'm in my Jesus stage Good. to see how he's doing life so that I can effectively be that healthy artist, healthy soon to be husband one day, a uh, healthy father, healthy friend, healthy mm -hmm. businessman. Mm -hmm. And for me, I don't I don't focus on it. So if I see it, I see it. But it's God. I, I interpret it as me. God is showing me this one so that I will know what not to do or how right. not to be. And right. number two on how to know how to filter. And just because I see it, don't mean I got to blast it. Right. That's good. <laughs> let me let me tell you about my proud moment of you. <laughs> you I got was, a proud moment. I do. I was, you got chilling, moment? I was chilling at um, Bishop Jake's conference. Oh, man. And somebody hit the stage. I almost took out running. That was you. <laughs> you went from the lunchroom to Bishop T.D. Jake's stage. How oh, did that God. feel? Shout out to the legendary icon, the model, the mogul, the mentor to many, the father, the spiritual father, the guide, the blueprint. Yes. Bishop T.D. Jakes is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I have been blessed to have been able to just minister on the same platform and, man, just be commended by him. I'm just honored. I, yeah. it, it still is a pinch moment for me, V. I ain't going to lie. Right. Like, I love that, man. I went from watching him on YouTube to being right. called to come and minister on his stage. That's that's major to me. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> Your proud yeah. moment, V. My proud. <laughs> I was just sitting back like a little child, like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was very proud of oh, you. Oh, man, I appreciate that. So let's Man, get into let's get into testimony. That's your that's your current practice. Yeah, testify, testify. Yeah, yeah. Testify, testify. I'm sorry. Yes, testify. Let's Marvin sat me, V. Marvin <laughs> sat me. <laughs> I love you. I'm thinking. <laughs> hey, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I love you. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let Let's talk about testify. Yo, V. Everybody got a story. Simple. Yes. Like my, I wanted to put an album together that it doesn't just testify about the goodness of god right 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 but you you are here like man i also testify about life i got a song in there called change and yeah. it just talks about how seasons go like change is a ministry we all rather people have experienced divorce trauma mm -hmm. or let down like i did that song because i was super emotional and yeah. was going through in my relationship with my girlfriend i'm gonna be just transparent and i'm like man, i don't like this man this sucks <laughs> And it was not her. It was me. Wow, because dude. of all the people that were walking out of my life. And right. I allowed my emotions to get the best of itself. And I'm taking out on a person that right. I'm supposed to be courting and dating to grow right. and, and to, you know, meet that goal of marriage. And, of course, that that ain't even the end destination. That's where the journey, you know, starts. And so, for me, when I look at Testify, my father, V, uh -huh. um, my biological father got shot in his head. And to this day, he has five, I believe, gunshot pills or something like that in his head. Like, y'all, yeah. like, yeah. that's scary. In his skull, in his brain, like, that's serious. Yeah. And it left him legally blind. He cannot see. Oh, wow. um, and what's significant about this is that he didn't raise me, but I'm getting called to go to the hospital to yeah. check about a man who never checked about me. Like, Ooh. that is major, you know? And we've had these conversations with him, so he don't mind me sharing. And right. To know that God has beautifully, beautifully crafted our relationship, it has been like amazing. I'll, I'll never forget walking into that hospital, and one, my father was like, "Oh, I know who that is." He said, "I can't see you, but I can hear you, which means I can see you." And right. at that moment, I really feel like God spoke to me and said, "I took His eyesight, or allow it to be taken. He didn't right. take it, but I allow His eyesight to be taken, right. so that I may." Mm, show you insight right. right because real faith is when we can't see so i'm preaching yeah. and singing about something well heck excuse me i'm gonna have to live it right, right. <laughs> you know right. what i'm saying and right. it was tough you know it's really tough for me so testify is not just about my own story but god kept my father my biological father alive and you know something v that hit me the other day i was so emotional because my father cannot see mm -hmm. he was not there for me from being a young man to growing into a, a young man, a kid, you know, tie my shoe, my, my uh, ride a bicycle, uh, uh, walk me to my first pre-K class or right. see me graduate. Man, this thing hit me because out of all the years he didn't see me, 
-hmm. now that I'm building a relationship with him, he still can't see me. Mm, you know, so I, so yeah. I gotta ask, like, God, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> like, what is this? Right. <laughs> you right. know, like, will he see me uh, propose? I can't show him the ring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He can't see my suit I want to get married in or oh, the house cool. I want to build my family or mm -hmm. the records or the people that I want to meet that I haven't met yet or see me right. feed the homeless or see me minister. He can right. hear me, but he can't see me. Yeah. And I want to encourage somebody out there because, man, they say the statistic for people that grow up without a father is a little high. Um, and But I just want to encourage y'all, like, hold on. Like, I promise you, all things really do work together for the good of them that love God and are called according to his purpose, V. But I just wanted to drop that bomb because, man, we see artists every day. And you've asked me some great questions about, you know, I know we're not done, but, man, it's like, yo, like, y'all, they're, they're people. I'm I'm a, I'm just a 24-year-old young man that's growing, learning about God, learning people. Uh, I want to be healthy all the way around. Yeah. But y'all, your favorite artists and celebrities, they go through life. Like, they're, they're some of the same things. What? You ain't the only one. The Kirk Franklin documentary. What? What? Like, I was able to be a part of that album and didn't even know that I was there that he was even, you know, recording that. You know? Yes. Yes. And just to, to see my face in it, but to hear his story, V, was yeah. like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And he has no idea of my story. It's like, what? Right. Like, right. This right. is crazy. Right. And so shout out to the OG Kirk Frank. You know, man, it, it's just it, 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 it's something else about that father thing, because here it is. V. I got a, I got a new album called Testify. It mm -hmm. sings about my heavenly father, mm -hmm. but yet I'm struggling with my earthly one. Right. Yeah, that's, good. that's really good. Real. Yeah, that's, man. Really good. that's really good. So I am looking at some notes and I do see that we're talking about um, Tasha and Break Every Chain. How did that <laughs> come across the the circle? How did that how did that come? Across? Man, so fun fact: my manager, Marquis Boone Enterprise, um, that was his first client. It was Tasha Cobbs wow. at the time. Now Tasha Cobbs Leonard, and they had a great and incredible business relationship. And man, I've always known Tasha. Heard her voice. Of course, I'm I'm a gospel mm -hmm. kid, gospel fanatic. Right. I absolutely love Tasha Cobbs Leonard, and Shout out even to her husband. Love you, big bro. Big Kenny. Yes. Big Kenny. Big yes. Kenny. Um, but, man, she is a trumpet. She is um, another model and blueprint when it comes to worship ministry, but gospel worship ministry. She's yes. been able to just, just push the borders and tell us that it, it's okay. Like, I, I don't care if whether you pro pro black, this black, brown, blue, yellow, your stance, your nice. rights. It's okay to be with your other brothers and sisters who don't look like you and mm. still serve God and, and show people it can still work in spite of what society is telling us. Um, because I know for a fact, I don't know why I'm here, but I think it's because you asked me about Tasha. When I see her, I see somebody who has been an encouragement to me. So the collaboration for her being on my album is like, yo, it's everything to me. You know, it's not about a white audience or a black audience. It's about really, man, singing about Jesus Christ and being a model and a blueprint for other worship leaders that it's got to be collaboration over competition. Right, right. Are you yeah. still connected to Marquise? Absolutely. Listen, Shout out to he's a, he's a genius. That's a he's genius. a genius. He's my business manager. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm sitting in his car, y'all. just got off the phone with him. About, <laughs> he's my business man. I mean, I don't make a money move without him. That's Listen. Just facts. I make no money move without him. Business. Now, not, maybe not clothes and shoes. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Or cars. Right. Oh, God. Right. But when it comes to the serious, the serious things, y'all, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it, it, it's that serious, man. <laughs> My business partner reached out to me last week about him. Um, She sent me the video. And wow. I've been following him for years. Wow. So we're going to go to Dubai for this conference that he's having next year. And I Oh, so you're going. Yeah, I, was I feel like there. he's that link. I feel like he's that link that's going to drive us to be millionaires. Like, no lie. No, no, I'm going to tell you this. Marquise Boone, of course, the Tasha Cobbs Leonard, Bree Babineau, he's worked with numerous of people, movie, yeah. the Bishop Jakes of the world, incredible other business people from all walks of life, yes. uh, C. West, of course, Keelanta Gavin. Um, he's been behind the scenes on a lot of other projects that you just would be shocked. One of the things that I love about my pops, V, and this is so true, is that he's so... I don't want to say underrated, mm -hmm. but it's like God... As as just gifted him, gifted him with this thing to be a bridge, yeah, to affect multiple industries and yeah. show us that you can speak in tongues, lay hands, 
know how to go into the boardrooms, know how to be as creative as possible because our father's great. Like, and I got to commend them too, V, because a lot of what I'm saying, my stance is some of my views, man. Sometimes we have some good, good, the good heated conversation. Well, I think this way. Oh, I think. <laughs> All right, right. But I love the way he he introduced the Bible. It was it was him that showed me that you're not just an artist. Wow. Like, and if you settle just yeah. there, you will disrespect the God that you're singing about. I agree. Because he didn't create you just to sing an ordinary worship. He created you to be a model in the earth and to construct business and show the musicians and worship leaders how to win. Like, it's more than just being an independent artist. It's work. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got to know your rights. Your publishing. Um, You got to know. Right. Hey, we don't set apart and chosen. Right. Y'all get some raw stuff today. This is the Belika <laughs> B Project. And I am rambling, and I do not interview like this, but I feel like I'm talking to my big sister. But listen, I'm telling y'all, everything that I know is because of this man. I got to commend him and thank him so much. I love you, Pops, because he is so dope. I just, I'm trying to find the words, but he's so dope, V. So I'm going to see you in Dubai. And if y'all out there, business owners, especially yes. if you're making six figures, you need yes. to go ahead and take 10%. Uh, to 15%, put it to the side for next year because yes. you need to come to Dubai and learn everything about your money, wealth, and management. Definitely going. So what's next for Kalente? Yo, that's it, V. I have been feeling this drive, not just of ministry, but minister. I'm, okay, people get prophesied to all the time. All right. Ministry and marketplace. Yes. God call you to the nation, but if you don't know about your tithe and your taxes, you're in trouble. <laughs> The next thing for me, man, I've been feeling this thing of ministry. I'm tired of seeing my brothers and sisters who are artists and they just settle there. Even if the publishing checks are amazing, mm -hmm. let's build some things. Let's collaborate yeah. to see other worship leaders and churches win. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's the small church that got them 15 and 20 that will support us just as the 10 and 20 thousands. Right. You know, so I have been feeling called to go into ministries, uh, whether it's virtually or whatever, other than singing to be a light to my generation, my right. my young people, for sure, right. my young people. I think the greatest millionaires in the next two decades, 20 years, it is going to come from a bracket of people that will range from teenagers maybe to 30, 40 years old. That's good. Like the, they're going to be a huge bracket of the millionaire status. I really feel that. But it's going to take good. work. You know, everybody gets good information, but they don't utilize it. Right. So that, that's a high number. I know that's high hopes for me, y'all, but I got faith that I don't want to stop until I've affected over a thousand worship leaders, young people to say, yo, you're more than your gift and your talent. You know, so of course, marriage is on my radar, y'all. I got to get married. I can't. Yeah. I want you to get married. When it's time. When it's Boom. time. <laughs> they in the, these women in the church. I'm excited. <laughs> I, and I want to love what I, when I go home. I yeah. want to love what I lay down with. I yeah. want to love what I see. I want to the Miss You Texas and all that stuff. The cooking. The cooking. <laughs> what, um, what a place that you got to cook and clean and wash everything. <laughs> Nigga, watch it. I'm going to watch the clothes. I'll do this stuff. I'll do this stuff. But I, I'm joking, y'all. I'm joking. That's funny. That's funny. But I'm, I'm excited about that, V, to see my life unfold. Like, what's next for me? A lot of stuff I don't know. But I do know for a fact that I just want to be that model to people, man. Like, yo, you can right. have fun. It's cool to love Jesus and wear Kingo hats and look like somebody's uncle and just be dope. <laughs> it, is. it really is. It really is. Man, I appreciate this. Energy. I love you. Such a blessing to be. Yeah, I really. love your energy. Every time I see you, like, I mean, you can ask my friends. I'm like one of your biggest cheerleaders. Like, for real. V. I and you know I share your stuff all the time. So, you know I'm all a All the cheerleader. time, yo. V, you are. And you're, I know you're telling the truth. I see the fruit. You know, yeah. some people are like, I love you. I love you. I didn't see you shit. Nothing to mind. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> not not Belika. No. Nope. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Now, Belika B, y'all, she's going to support, and I, I commend you, and I want to thank you, and I want to give you a Kilante Gavin honorary award that's not legit, but it's legit because I'm affirming you that you are amazing. You are not underrated. You're just a gem. You're already shining bright. I love the project. I love what you're doing. I thank God for the books that's about to come out of you, the other businesses. Like, it's beyond. Like, maybe the Velika B Project is her face, but it may not be her face the next time. Right. Like, even the platforms. And I just feel this prophetically, that you want to build to uh, elevate other people. Right. Those who shot your ideas down, we don't want to do that. But now they're going to see you win in all the industries that you were trying to invite them in in the beginning. Like you 
are where God wants you to be. Like there is no conference. There is no thing that you won't be able to go to. The things that you paid for will be the things you will be headline speakers for. Wow. Let me like, tell you how crazy that is because tell me. I, I, um, I met Donald Lawrence's business um, manager, Marsha German. Wow. I met her during the pandemic. We became business partner and me and her, and you didn't even know this, lunch in a thing called um, Set Apart and Chosen Artist Hub. We're bringing different major people in the industry in this in this area, and we're teaching independent artists and artists that are coming up about the music. I'm teaching them how to monetize. She's teaching them how to do everything. We're bringing in people from BMI. They're, what? We're teaching for free. You hear me? Because I'm tired of seeing- For free? Free. Y'all hear that? Free. I'm getting tired of seeing artists being taken advantage of. So we're bringing it. We're putting this in there. Yep. Y'all hear that? <laughs> free. <laughs> free. You you on it, man. Mm -hmm. And it's so beyond. Like, I just see you. Like, even your name, the Valika B, B Project, is beyond music. It's right. ministry. It's film. It's woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Like, you'll be able to impact every, inf like, mountain of influence. Schools, children, grants. Like, right. churches, ministries. Like, you're, 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 you're an apostolic human resource specialist. Uh -huh. Like, Anybody be able to call you and say, hey, I need something for construction or something. Yeah, I know somebody. I need something uh, to get on this television show. I know somebody. I need something. Uh, my, my kids got this going to it. I know somebody. I'm trying to get my, my project off the ground. I know what kind of project. Music, building, right. business. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's on your life, man. It's on your life. We got to go because I feel churchy, bro. I feel churchy. I feel like prophesy. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You're amazing, it. man. Thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and wrap, but let everybody know what do you have coming up or what do you have right now and how they can support and how they can follow you. Absolutely, V. Thank you for having me. Set yeah. Apart and Chosen Family Crew Hub Collective is Kilante here, and I need you to do me a favor. Find my page at Kilante Gavin, okay? Instagram and Facebook. Instagram, it's Kilante underscore Gavin. Go follow my TikTok, the real Kilante Gavin. Y'all, a lot of people be posting me. But it's the real Kilat together. That's really me. Y'all be right. thinking that's not me. That's <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but go yeah. follow me and my YouTube, okay, for all hot videos and all that stuff at I am Kilante Gavin. So thank you, V. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. The Belika B Project with special guest Kalente Gavins. Until next time, Kalente, stay on with me really quick. We will you see know you. know it. <laughs> God bless. Oh you. Lord, I got balloons, y'all. Yeah, balloons. I don't know where that came from, but okay. <laughs> Well, that concludes this episode of the Velika B Project with your host, Velika B. Until next time we meet, be blessed. The Velika B Project.